What's up YouTube? It's 3.30 in the morning. It's a bit late here, but the Community Crunch is finally arrived. Now it's Community Crunch 4.10, an update on the center our conditions integration. And it starts off with a picture of the Shastasaurus and it says, welcome to another edition of the Community Crunch. The center is coming along nicely and will indeed be ready for launch at the beginning of June to ensure a smooth rollout though the release date has been adjusted by one day to June the 4th. We're appreciative of players enthusiasm for our third Ark Survival Ascended map and look forward to getting it into your hands in just a few weeks. Then there's a spotlight video with the Ceratosaurus and Sihactinus are live which is basically yeah a spotlight video of the fish that they put on the island and the ceratosaurus which is on the island and scorched earth this week we're thrilled to unleash not one but two of garuga's one two threes formidable creatures make their official debut in arc the fearsome ceratosaurus and relentless sifactinus i can't pronounce that one properly prepare to master these remarkable new additions the challenge awaits are you ready to rise to the occasion additionally we are excited to announce that premium mods will be released for Xbox and Windows on Monday, May 20th. PlayStation players, the certification process is still ongoing. You can expect premium mods to be available on your platform within a week. Thank you for your patience as we roll premium mods to all platforms. Next, we've got the Ceratosaurus dossier and wild. While I'm surprised I haven't encountered them sooner, I'd rather them just vanish altogether. Ceratosaurus is as ruthless as they are quick. While not the most damaging carnivores you'll encounter, they are certainly some of the most persistent. I've seen these creatures even exhibit a sort of stalking behaviour unlike anything else I've seen on the island. While they may not make themselves known to you immediately, they certainly know where you are. Domesticated, the spines of the Ceratosaurus have a very unique and powerful trait, venom. This hematoxin has the bizarre reaction with blood, making it incredibly nutritious to carnivores. The more intense the venom infection, the more beneficial the blood becomes. I've witnessed tribes that have managed to tame these beasts, use it to great effect against larger threats and even the island's guardians. Perhaps this desire to devour envenomed prey can be used against them. Next we have the Cephactinus dossier. Cephactinus velox is a frightening fast creature lurking in the island's oceans, most often appearing in groups. Cephactinus can quickly overwhelm its victims. They have been observed to grab smaller prey in their terrifying jaws and thrash wildly. To deplete their energy, when subdued, they will proceed to swallow the prey whole, something I have witnessed before many unfortunate survivors. Beware Cephactinus that have recently fed as they will become frenzied from the clouds of blood they've created for targets. Too large to be swallowed by its horrible maw, Cephactinus will instead resort to tearing off a chunk of flesh, causing the target to begin bleeding out. On several occasions, I've noticed Cephactinus will attack other ocean species, such as Megalodon and even larger threats such as Mosasaurus. Be glad that you're not their only target. Domesticated Cephactinus make an excellent mount for exploring the Ark's vast ocean environment. Their powerful jaws can be utilized to grab smaller prey while leaving a nasty bleeding wound on larger opponents with good maneuverability any tribes partaking in sea warfare will be sure to have a shoal of their dire tuna next we got the mud spotlight i'm not really going to go through all that um live ops update literally to do with the servers that are only temporary servers through scorched then we've got switch news arc ultimate survivors editions now 50 percent off and you've got arc ultimate survivors upgrade 50 percent off Sale ends May 27th for Nintendo Switch. We are pleased to announce that Genesis Part 2 is now entering submission with Nintendo and will release on Monday, July the 1st alongside the Rhino Nafa, which will be found spawning around the island. Next, we've got an EVO event, bonus rates on official network, survivors ascended bonus rates on the official network May 17th to May 20th. PvP and PvE will get two times harvesting, taming, experience and breeding. Same as usual, small tribes 4.5 harvesting, taming and experience and 4 times breeding and Ark Apocalypse 5 times harvesting, taming and experience and breeding. Anyway, that's the end of the community crunch, so thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one.